What if you're out for a day hike and you don't have a backpack, but you need to pack something out that you found? Or maybe you just need to carry a bunch of trash out that somebody else left there. Maybe you need to carry someone else's gear because they got injured. So when you need to improvise a backpack frame, all you need is three sticks and some cordage. This is a backpack frame that you could make in less than half an hour if you need to, and it could probably last decades if you make it right. A Roycraft frame, and this is how you do it. So how you make this is you take one stick that is as long as your elbow to your fingertips, and you take two sticks that are as long from your armpit to your fingertips. And that's what's gonna make the frame. Start by lashing together the top like this. So start by tying a clove hitch on one of them. And then you wanna lash the two together. So three wraps on one side and then three wraps the other way. And then around. <clears throat> and pull each one really tight when you go around it. <clears throat> and then you finish it off with a square knot on this side. All right, so once you get those two lashed together, the next step is to take your crossbar and lash it right here. And you wanna leave a little bit hanging out on each side, and you'll see why. So this is more of a square lash, so you're gonna go <clears throat> up and over, and you're gonna create what looks like a little square right here. And for this, I'm just gonna go around twice, and uh, then I'm gonna wrap it around to secure it. This is called frapping. And then finish it off with a square knot. Okay. So this is the pack frame itself for the Roycraft pack frame. Now we're gonna put some toggles on it that's actually gonna allow us to wrap some rope around and hold the pack in place. Okay, so this is our toggle. So all this is a little piece of wood and I tied a clove hitch on it with an overhand knot to secure it. And now I'm gonna tie this onto the frame in several points. Korean people have been making this type of backpack for centuries. This is just a modified design on that. This is the finished pack frame. All we have to do now is add some of the shoulder and belt straps and we are ready to load this thing up. So for the shoulder and belt straps, all you need is a little bit of like sisal rope like this. Sisal, sisal, I don't know how to, I don't know how you pronounce it, whatever. It's sisal, it's natural fiber rope. You can use any kind of rope. I'm actually doubling these up to make them a little more comfortable, otherwise it's gonna cut in your shoulders a lot. So how I sized it is I just put it over my back right here where the pack frame is gonna attach to it and then you just imagine it hooking onto the frame and then coming around and being able to tie it. So we'll actually trim it for final length when we get it you know, hooked up with the pack, but this is a good start. And then all I did was I just doubled it up and tied a figure eight knot in the top. Now let's get it on the frame. So all I do is I bring it through the pack frame, I hook it on the top, and then I pass both ropes up through that loop in the figure eight. And when I tighten it down, <clears throat> that knot just kind of like buries itself right there. And now this can go over your shoulders and it'll be a lot more comfortable. Probably the hardest part of actually making this backpack is folding up the pack itself. If you've got a big tarp, um, sometimes it can be really tricky in the wind to fold a tarp like this. I like to get on the windward side and let the tarp act like a sail and fly out in front of me. Then I lay it down and I can fold it up a little bit easier. If you're if you're trying to fold a tarp on the leeward side or the, where the wind is going, uh, the tarp is just gonna end up crumpling up and getting in your face and it's just not gonna be good. Once you've folded your tarp down into a long strip, put your stuff in the middle and then wrap it up, slide it onto your pack frame and then begin tying it up. You really wanna make sure that you tuck the tarp in on the sides and make sure that nothing is gonna fall out. There's nothing worse than losing gear on the trail. So if you have any small items, make sure to tuck those down inside of the tarp because it creates a natural pocket in there. 
All right, so I make a loop in my bank line that I'm gonna wrap around this whole thing to hold it together. And I put it on the bottom toggle like this. Then I can just start crisscrossing back and forth until this thing is nice and secure. So I just reach underneath and loop the bank line around the toggle and set it down. And then I can go across. And then when you get back to the end of it, you just put a couple of half hitches in. Now we put it on. All right, so then you just hoist it up onto your back get these straps up over your shoulders, like so. And then you reach back and you hook around the frame like this and cinch it up so it's riding nice and high on your hips, just like a regular backpack. So cinch it up and then go ahead and tie this belt in place. I've improvised stretchers before, I've improvised backpacks. It's just a really good skill to have in your brain in case you need to make something out in the field. In this age of Amazon and all these big box stores, sometimes we forget that we can just simply make some of this stuff. And it may not be the most comfortable thing, it may not be the most elegant, but there's a little bit of pride involved when you've made something that works like this. So why not give it a shot next time you're out in the woods? I hope you found that useful, or at least entertaining, and we'll see you later. Thank you.